Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to another Through My Letterbox video. Um, I think we're now on part 8, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, but again, people just keep having films at silly prices. So I'm just going to keep silly buying them. Because um, on the bright side, I won't have to buy them later. That's my rationale. So I'm just going to start. Got a few DVDs, some box sets, and other assorted items. So first of all, the DVDs. The first one is Attenberg, which is the kind of same group as um, Yorgos Lanthimos. He's actually in this one. Um, and you'll recognise, if you're familiar with Lanthimos's work, the two women in the front, um, they're his regulars. But this isn't actually directed by him, um, but he's actually in it. And it looks very interesting. Again, let me know in the comments below if you've seen any of these. Next one is the BFI edition of Science is Fiction. I know there is a Criterion. Um, version but the BFI one was cheaper quite frankly um, so this there's a two disc set of the films of Jean Ponleve which I believe I've butchered his name and the last DVD is The Owl Man, which is a little Scottish horror film that I thought I would check out. So that's the DVDs. We'll just start on the random Blu-rays. Some of these are quite random. This is the Basket Case trilogy. Um, I mean, I've been into films probably for 25, 26 years, seriously. Um, and I've never seen any of the basket case films and this was cheap so what the hell next one is um, Dunkirk by Christopher Nolan I still don't know whether I actually like this or not um, there's parts of it I like and there's parts of it I don't like um, I think I was expecting a much bigger scaled film but it's actually quite intimate. Um, he tries to tell the story of like three or four kind of individual incidents or individual people rather than trying to do this grand um, scale thing. Um, I'll maybe have to watch it again, but I mean it, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, the end scene with Tom Hardy is quite beautiful. Um, but yeah, I need to watch it again and actually make a decision on whether I like it or not. This is an upgrade. And this is the new Olive signature release of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The original one, the Don Siegel. Fantastic one. Um, I had, did have this on a, a Spanish Blu-ray. But this is the Olive signature one and it has a bunch of of extras which you probably won't be able to read I might not even be able to read um, it's got a commentary, two commentaries including one with Kevin McCarthy um, and Dana Winter and Joe Dante Joe Dante's commentaries are always quite entertaining um, there's an interview with Don Siegel again there's a um, Peace with Larry Cohen and Joe Dante. Stuff for authors. Yeah, so there's a ton of extras in this edition. And that's why I got it, because it is one of my favourite films of all time. Um, it'll be in my top 150, no doubt. Um, 
I know a lot of people prefer the Donald Sutherland 1978 Phil Kaufman version. But to me, this one's the best one. Kevin McCarthy's fantastic. And I got some premium collection ones. This is spine number 73, Time After Time, with Malcolm McDowell um, and David Warner. About H.G. Wells trying to catch Jack the Ripper. Which I haven't seen. I think I might have seen it a long time ago, but I haven't seen it in a long time. And the next two are upgrades. This is spine number 79, and it's out of the past. Or Build My Gallows High. I think I always preferred Build My Gallows High as a title, um, but it just seems to have become out of the past now. Um, again, I did have this on another Blu ray, but this one has the cards and it's a much nicer presentation. I mean, if you haven't seen this, this is like an essential noir, nice and fatalistic which the best noirs are. And I'm so glad this one finally um, came out in a decent release. This is spine number 80 and this is Nicholas Ray's On Dangerous Ground. Um, this is the Nicholas Ray film I think is underappreciated the most. Yes, the studio kind of messed about with it as studios always kind of did in those days. Um, but this is an absolutely fantastic noir with Robert Ryan and Ida Lupino. Um, and again, it's a nice presentation with cards. Um, Robert Ryan plays um, a cop that kind of the violence and the crimes got to him a bit, so he's a bit violent. Um, and he gets sent out up country um, to deal with a case to let him cool off after um, beating somebody up again. And he finds Ida Lupino, who's blind and gets involved with uh, a local murder case. And it's just a, it's a beautiful film um, and for years he just couldn't see it, couldn't find it anywhere but I'm so glad it's actually um, got a nice premium release because if you haven't seen it it's well worth checking out. Um, again I might have to do a top 10 Nicholas Ray at one point, well I will. Um, and this would be near the top because it's quite a fantastic film. It's one of my, one of my personal favourites. Unlike all the other films I have. Um, this is another new release. This is on Plan B Entertainment which I'm not really familiar with. And this is The Boston Strangler with Tony Curtis and Henry Fonda. Apparently this is first time on Blu-ray. So keen to check that one out again. Again, this is another film that I haven't seen for years. Fahrenheit 451 by Truffaut. I do have the Truffaut um, box set as well. Um, and my favourite one's maybe his last one, which is Finally Sunday with Fanny Ardon and Jean Loutinho. That's fantastic. Um, I'm about to do a top 10 Jarmusch, but I haven't actually seen Patterson, so I thought I should pick this up and actually watch it before I finalise my top 10, um, because entries 9 and 10 might get changed. I heard good things about it, so I thought it would be a good idea to check it out before I finalise my top 10. This is another old one, The Drawn With Strain, Robert Wise, that's a nice wee film, again it was cheap. This is Buck Privates by Abbott and Costello, I do like a bit of Abbott and Costello. Um, I've got Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. Um, And the other one, Wolfman. Yeah, I may have completely forgotten. Um, this is Unearthly Stranger with John Neville, which is a lovely little British science fiction film. 
with Philip Stone or um, the barman from The Shining as he's better known yeah I'm doing a run of Amicus films now this is um, Dr Terror's House of Horror Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee because um, on one of my previous letterbox videos I got the double bill of Tales of the Crypt and Vault of Horror by Amicus or the only competition that Hammer really ever had Amicus did some nice stuff including one of my favourites The Beast Must Die which I'm surprised has been remade um, and then this one Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom we mean to pick this up for ages um, I do like it I've only got the first two um, Indiana Jones and that's all I'll be getting um, that brings my Spielberg total to three films you can probably guess what the other one is his best and one of the most perfect films ever made until he went back and fiddled with the ending and changed a last line which is really annoying and the last one before I show you the box sets is the Isle of Dogs which I haven't seen um, a Wes Anderson I thought I would pick that up again I haven't seen a lot of Wes Anderson um, I do have Fantastic Mr Fox which is very good and I have The Grand Budapest Hotel which is fantastic but I don't have um, any of his other stuff please let me know if you recommend any of his films so I'm just going to go through this four box sets again it's not my fault it was a decent price um, the first one is Jackie Chan Police Story and Police Story 2 and there's about five different versions of the two films I remember seeing these years ago um, and having a lot of fun with them so that's Police Story as it goes all shiny and Police Story 2 so there's different cuts in this set um, there's a Japanese cut UK cuts um, so I shall have fun watching that um, I think these were a couple of his first films and he pretty much hospitalised most of the stuntmen during the filming of both of them especially the first one um, and I'm sure he got injured quite a bit in it as well uh, good old fashioned health and safety and this one is Four March Brothers at Paramount by Arrow Academy 1929-1933 um, I'm strange as you might have guessed um, I'm more of a March Brothers and Abbott and Costello than and Harold Lloyd than a Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy um, yeah I'm just strange that way so this has got lots of limited edition contents and this is the coconuts, animal crackers, monkey business, horse feathers and duck soup um, I saw this at the cheapest price I'd seen it and then the following day they'd stuck 15 quid onto it and then like a day later it was back to the cheapest price so I just thought let's get it before it disappears so this I'll just quickly show you the discs that's the coconuts and animal crackers and then we have monkey business and horse feathers and duck soup we got guns, they got guns, all gods chillin' got guns and there's a nice booklet as well there's Groucho I can see you in the kitchen bending over the stove but I can't see the stove 
or my favourite Groucho quote is probably I could never belong to a club that would have me as a member. And the next two are quite big, in more ways than one. Um, this is the Werner Herzog collection by BFI. I do have a couple of these. Um, I've got a Geary, Wrath of God and a Steelbook. Um, so this actually has 18 of his films on Blu-ray and a lot of his shorts. Films, not his actual underwear. And this has a booklet. And I'll just quickly show you the artwork without hopefully all the discs falling out. So, I mean, this is a bunch of stuff. Um, a Gear Wrath of God, The Unprecedented Defence of the Fortress Dutch Schlaus, that's wrong pronunciation, Last Words, Precautions Against Fanatics, Fata Morgana, The Enigma of Caspar Hauser, Land of Silence and Darkness, How Much Wood Would a Woodchuck Chuck, Strozek, Heart of Glass, Nosferatu, um, Wojciech, Handicapped Future, The Great Ecstasy of Woodcarver Steiner, Huey's Sermon, Fitzcarraldo with Burden of Dreams, the Les Blank wonderful documentary, um, Werner Herzog Eats His Shoe, an episode of the South Bank show about him, Cobra Verde, God's Angry Man and The Guardian Lecture, Werner Herzog in conversation with Neil Norman for 83 minutes. So that's going to take a while to get through. Um, Herzog is amazing. Um, his documentaries are amazing. There is a documentary box set available as well that I might have to pick up on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, he's incredible. The only reason I actually got Jack Reacher was because of Werner Herzog's fantastic performance. Um, why does he always choose the gun? So the last box set is another huge one and it's the Aki Karismaki collection. And this has about 17 films and 9 short films. It has a bunch of Aki Karismaki. And again, I saw it cheap, or cheaper, um, and since I bought it, it's went up in price. So, again, lovely booklet. Let's get pictures and everything. And split into two. leaves here. This one has Total Balalaika Show, Take Care of Your Scarf to Tanya, which is a great film. You Know the Man Without a Past, which is a great film. Lights in the Dusk, La Havre, The Other Side of Hope. I mean, so this is pretty much... Um, I think there's just one film missing. Maybe two films missing, otherwise it's pretty much everything he's done. And again, if you get it now, it saves you getting it later. So this one has Crime and Punishment, Calamari Union, Shadows in Paradise, Drifting Clouds, Hamlet Goes Business, La Vie de Bohème, Ariel, The Match Factory Girl, Leningrad Cowboys Go America, and Leningrad Cowboys Meet Moses. Of course they do, that makes perfect sense. So that's what has come through my letterbox since the last time um, I spoke about my letterbox problems. And again, hopefully that will be the last update for a while, even though I think I may have said that before. So thank you very much for watching. 
leave a like, leave comments to, to say which ones you've seen or which ones I should watch first. And thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful weekend. This is Solitude Ronan saying farewell.